In this presentation, we'll look at primary and foreign keys. We'll see how they are used to implement a relationship, the line we see between two entities in a data model. What you should already know before you view this presentation is that you should be familiar with the data modeling terminology. You should know the database terms that correspond to the data model terms. In the immediately previous presentation, we started implementing a physical data model into a relational database. So we saw that an entity becomes a table. Now we're going to build the relationship. So how do we put a relationship between customer and repair order as tables in the database? We will put the primary key from one table into the related table. Which primary key goes into the other table? A foreign key is a field in one table that corresponds to a primary key field in another table. We know which primary key we will put in the related table because of the one side and the many side of the relationship. Customer is on the one side of a many, one to many relationship with repair order. The rule is in a one to many relationship, the many side gets the foreign key. So repair order gets the foreign key column. The primary key field from customer, which is cust underscore ID, has a corresponding column in the related repair order table. The foreign key field called cust ID column in the example shown here holds data that links to the related data in the customer table. So if we look at repair order number one, which is the very first row, and we're looking at ORD ID, repair order ID one, we see that that repair order was done for customer ID four. We can then take that number, go look at the corresponding primary key column, find the four, and see who the customer is. Using the foreign key field to link related data is, is an essential element of the relational database. It reduces data redundancy. This is a key benefit. Each relational database stores data about a particular entity, a person, a place, a thing, or an event. So we have a person, customer, and we have an event, a repair. In the example below, there are three repair orders for Debbie Davies, but we don't have to store her information, her name, her address, etc., more than once. Her information is in the customer table, and the foreign key value number four, which is her customer ID, links every repair order she has to her information. The foreign key field name can match the related primary key field name exactly, and this is often done. However, in the example we have in this presentation, there's a slight difference. There's cust under I, underscore ID and cust ID, no underscore. There is one situation where the primary key field name and the foreign key field name cannot match, uh, but you'll find a mix of these out in, in the uh, the real world. Sometimes they match, sometimes they don't. It is required, however, that the foreign key column be defined in the same way that the primary key column was defined. It has the same data type and the same field size, so they can hold the same data, essentially. So what we've seen in this presentation is how to implement the relationship shown in the data model when we actually build the database. The relationship becomes a link between a primary key column in one table and its related foreign key column in another table. We've also seen that using this relationship allows us to store data more efficiently and reduce data redundancy.